Hi guys, it's Jake here from Voice Enthusiast. Today, this is going to be something special because it's not a reaction. This is an invitation for you to spend a day with me and to talk about a few things connected with acid reflux. The, this is a very common issue. Uh, mm, I think one third of people have this thing going on around, around here. And in my case, it doesn't help me with singing and I want to share with you a small changes, a tiny little changes that can improve your uh, quality of life. I hope so. You know, some say small changes can make a huge impact. Yeah, this is the, the, the right sentence. Yeah, but small changes just can help you. But they are so small that it doesn't cost you almost anything. Oh, we will. Oh, it's too dark. Okay, guys, we will start with exercises. Do you exercise? Uh, I try to exercise each day, but it happens that I try to exercise with my stomach already full. Right now, it's very early in the morning, so I will try to exercise without having anything in my stomach. Hmm. Yeah, I'm done. But most of all, I've done this and I didn't feel any food trying to get out of my body in this direction. Yeah. This is this is a first change from the from the morning, but no. There is one thing that can be adjusted before this. You can try to readjust the way you sleep. Because as you can see, this is a pillow, yeah, everybody knows what, what is a pillow, but Hmm, one small change. Below this one is another one. Just to make your body slightly higher. So again, to prevent the food going out of your body. So basically, all of this is going to be a small adjustment, uh, a little fine tuning to your, to your lifestyle. And if you're dealing with AC reflux, I hope it will help you as much as it helps me. Because sometimes a small change can make a huge impact on the way I feel mm, my body, my, uh, my larynx, my vocal cords. And yeah, right now I'm waiting for uh, food because there is no restaurant right now in the COVID situation. Uh, so there, there is going to be a room service. Uh, earlier, I received a, a card where I got to choose which food I would like to order. You always have a choice. You always have a choice. Sometimes it's uh, better to not eat something than eat, to eat something not, uh, that is not going to help your body. So I got this card and I had to choose. Mm. Uh, what I was thinking, what's easier to digest. That's all I think of. So I uh, I already removed the diary and uh, yeah, this is the first time I didn't choose coffee. It's going to be tough. I don't know if I can handle it. If I don't know if I'm ready for this change because it's not a small change. It's a huge change in my life. I drink a lot of coffee because I have two babies and I have to... I have to just have energy for them, for living. <laughs> yeah, okay, so, so yeah, I, uh, I picked a few uh, check, checkpoints on the, on the checklist and yeah, I'm ready for it uh, once it will be delivered here. Oh, let's talk about the pace you eat your food because uh, I or <laughs> I very often realize that I'm trying to eat too fast uh, because there are so many things that needs to be done and uh, I just ha happen to you know just throw the food into my mouth and just uh, swallow it 
but yeah it it but then it results in food that's not ready to digest so uh please please try to to make this small change to slow down just a little bit to just slow down and enjoy the food you're having and uh, what I do, the, my, my small small change is when I when I eat one one piece, I release the fork or uh, or the other ones. I release those, and I have free hands, and then I try to chew it without holding the fork. And yeah, <laughs> I wonder if you will try this and uh, how it's gonna impact you. Okay, so the pace, eat slowly, enjoy the food, just enjoy what you're having. It can have better taste, smell, and you know, the experience of eating it can be much better if you're not rushing. All right, here it is. Oh yes. Don't worry. I won't eat at all because I, I have two, two breakfasts today because I have my scenes in uh, in four hours from now. So now I will eat just half of it and then another half of it in, in two hours. Yeah. So uh, let's talk about it. Hmm. <gasps> Dark bread. Yeah. I didn't know they they will give me the dark bread. I cannot eat it. I know it's healthy, but it's digested far too long for me to, to, to feel good. So I will avoid uh, the whole grain food. Yeah, I know it's it's healthy, but I prefer uh, not whole, not whole grain, but the other ones <laughs> and white flour. Yes. So guys, now I will try to uh, eat it very slowly. Have you ever tried to chew the food 50 times before you swallow it? Some say it can improve your digesting. Digestion? Oh, and I try to drink after eating, uh, around 30 minutes after the, uh, the breakfast, just mm, to not uh, reduce the acid power in the stomach. <laughs> Something like this. <laughs> oh, guys, I forgot to say that you should eat a smaller amount of food each time. So like you can you can divide your big breakfast to two uh, smaller breakfasts. <laughs> yeah, so uh, this is one thing and hmm, where to put the camera? Maybe here. Let's start with the stress. Okay, guys. I suppose most of you are stressed. What happens if you are stressed? Your body feels mm, in a danger. So usually you have more breath in your lungs. So you do this and you have a lot, a lot of air just, uh, just to feel safe and uh, to fight or flight you know this is the the instinct from from the very beginning of human race but what what happens if you have so much air in your lungs then your diaphragm is very low and here is your stomach so if your diaphragm is low all the time 
the stomach is all the time, you know, squeezed by the, by the neighbor from the from the top. So uh, just try to relax a little bit. Try to focus on your exhale to to let let the diaphragm go higher, 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 and release the tension that that stomach has because of it. It can massage the stomach and it can help you uh, digest food and just mm, releasing the tension in your body, uh, making yourself a little bit more calm can only help. And I guess avoiding the stressful situations, it's easy to say, but mm, yeah, let's just try to help each other become less stressful. Do you feel less stressful watching these videos? Does it help you? I hope, I hope it's helping you because it's helping me. Uh, every time I do such video, I have to focus. I have to, I have to reorganize myself and just make sure I, I am really doing the stuff I'm talking about. So thank you and I hope to see you on the next ones.